The months of preparation are finally over. Both sets of fans full of optimism as they look ahead to the new season. But who will come out on top today? Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Riverside here in Middlesbrough. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And there are few more enjoyable days on the football calendar than opening day in the Premier League. It's Middlesbrough up against Crystal Palace. Well, thanks, Derek, and what an opening day this should be, especially for these fans who expect to see their team topping the table come the end of the season. Let's hope we see a good game here today. Look at the starting 11 for Middlesbrough. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And here's the Palace 11. Thomas Partey starts with Naby Keita in central midfield. And the striker for this game is Enes Unal. And the contest begins. Ducouré. Unal. Sheikh Ducouré. And Crystal Palace moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. On a pass that lacks quality. This attack looks highly promising. Oh dear. Well, that's not one that's going to linger long in the memory. Well, he had a go there. Nothing wrong with that. But he's got that all wrong. But a goal to tell you about in the Arsenal game. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Arsenal. It was a volley. Oh, my goodness. What an outrageous hit. I can't believe he took it on from there. And neither can the goalkeeper. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Plenty of support here. Zaha. Partey. Surely! And fired against the crossbar. And giving the ball away. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. And played short. Zaha. Well, a crucial intervention inside the box. Could be a chance to break here. 
Defenders need to cover. It's looking promising. But Stamp defending what it mattered. Naby Keita. Partey. And not a great challenge. Free kick here. Teammates available. Body on the line. It is a decent looking attack here. A chance to whip it in. Zaha. Opportunity here. Safe pair of hands did his job. Borough moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Could be. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defenders just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Naby Keita. Ducouré. Unal. How can they open up the defence here? And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Zaha. The conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Really nice ball. Oh, a goal! How about that for a degree of difficulty? Simply off the charts! Well, here it is again, and all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. So on they go again, and Borough beginning to run away with this. Ridvin Yilmaz. Tomori. Zaha. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Barella. Now, options are plenty. So, a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, it still could be dangerous. Threat over for now, it seems. Naby Keita. Offside by a fraction.
Well, he didn't catch it badly, but certainly questions to be asked about the lack of accuracy there. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, the keeper will be sick at the sight of him. He's been shooting from everywhere and he's taken his goals really well. Unal. Ducouré. And he saw the situation developing. Promising looking ball. A glorious chance. Oh my goodness, he's caught that so well. A goal of the highest class. Fantastic technique. Well, as the replay shows, that's such a brilliant bit of skill to set up the chance. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Is it going to be? And a good take under duress there. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. And collected tidily, he had plenty to think about. Bravo. And he keeps going. And the referee blows the whistle, thus bringing to an end the first half here at the Riverside. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He caused the defenders all sorts of problems with his movement and pace, and he fully deserved his two goals, and I expect more from him in the second half. And the ball moving, the second half underway. Borough in control of the proceedings. And he's lost custody of the ball here. He's got the right idea with that pass. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Ducouré Hansko Enes Unal with it Wilfried Zaha Useful looking ball And this time it's in Fabulous goal And just look at the celebrations Well let's see this again the vision to play this through ball is superb, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. That's too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Giles Pedri Has eyes for goal 
Oh, excellent diving stop. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward for the keeper. Well, he knows it. That is a real waste of a great opportunity. And it has been a priority for Tottenham to get this deal over the line. And apparently everything now signed and agreed, Stuart. Well, that's about £55 million. Pounds. I was... And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Now the delivery, not the best clearance. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Point of play then, and a Palace throw in forthcoming. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, for good measure, we can see it again, but clearly not over the line. Can be no debate over that decision. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And an effective clearance. Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Middlesbrough. He's in behind. Oh, he's done it. But hang on. Offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here. But the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. And given away. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Jürgen Strand Larsen. Barella has it. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Crystal Palace facing Manchester City. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. And he clears the danger. 20 minutes remaining. Oh, he's through here! And that's sound goalkeeping. Trying to deliver it accurately. Really good diving save. And over it comes. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Oh, 
Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Firing completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle, and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall display up to now. Crossing possibilities. Corner kick forthcoming. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Delivering it. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. He must finish. Really sound defending. And the keeper not really taxed by that long range shot. Ducouré. And so into the final five minutes. And Palace will get the throw in. So making the substitution now. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Oh, in with a chance! Surely! A oh, tremendous block. And a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass in finishing! Just can't stop him today! it again and no wonder the manager is furious they just have to get tighter here deal with the danger otherwise that's the outcome not good enough defensively the ball rolling again and what has been an utterly one-sided match Nicely cut out. Can they take advantage? And now it is there for him. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss.
Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. Left his man behind here. Zaha. A foul, but an opportunity here. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Yeah, it was a good result, and they were certainly dangerous going forward but they will need to improve defensively. They looked a bit open at times today.